got there around 2014, correct? That's right. Okay. And while I was checking out the charts, it seemed like BTS, their second album, charted in 2015. So is there a correlation between the rise of K-beauty and the rise of K-pop? They go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. So as I write about, the government after 1997, there was this major banking crisis called the IMF crisis. The International Monetary Fund had to bail out South Korea uh, to the tune of something like $55 billion, though you can correct me if I'm wrong. And in order to prop up its economy and its GDP after that, South Korea very deliberately turned to what they call a soft power strategy. They There was a fact that showed that just one major blockbuster, if a country put out a major blockbuster on the scale of the Jurassic Park, Mm -hmm. that could lead to so many other sort of um, residual, not residual, but like subsequent boost to the GDP as an entire industry, right? And so instead of just manufacturing cars, just manufacturing electronics, or, or South Korea continues to be a giant in shipping, they decided de- very deliberately to turn to the production of culture. So the production of film, music, gaming. And South Korea's film and K-drama industry really came out of that time, the late 90s and the early aughts. Turn to about the mid-10s, K-pop is mature by then. It's already in its second or its third generation. And BTS was just one of the many groups. But BTS is notable in that it, there is no bigger, there is no bigger Korean export than them. But all along, from the start of the sort of K-culture industries and the K-culture exports around the world, so even starting in the late 90s, K-culture acted like acted as a running advertisement, a nonstop 24-7 on your screen billboard for Korean beauty, for Korean looks, Korean visual. There's a lot of scholars who write about K-pop in particular who say, you know, K-pop is a musical genre, but it is just as much a visual genre as it is a musical genre. It really sets standards and norms when it comes to videos and dance. It's often for, it's sort of like TikTok style dance before TikTok in that it is for the screen, right? It is for the frame. And so you see a lot of gestures that are around the, Um, face, Mm -hmm. specifically because your face is played up. Um, Korean pop music also and the videos really emphasize the legs. They emphasize legs more than they emphasize cleavage. And those have also become norms as well, which then leads to helping sell a lot of ideas to improve ourselves or upgrade ourselves like Botoxing our calves. So it's all connected. It feeds on itself. 